What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Long Island Fish Guy here. Back at it again with another video. Today we're going to talk about two different topics. One topic that hits home for a lot of long time Aquarius and we're also going to give you an update. But we're going to save that update for the end. So let me start off by talking about something that really does hit home for a lot of Aquarius and that is actually parasites in fish. Knock on wood Something hope, something I have not have to deal with in this tank yet. But I have had some serious scares, and not because of symptoms, because all of my fish show great, um, you know, really great, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Behaviors. They're always very active, never really showing any good uh, signs of uh, bloat or uh, laying on gravel or anything like that. They're always typically um, well, eat, uh, very well behaved, and, and you know, n never actually you know show sick si sick signs. I'm stumbling over my words today, <laughs> um, but uh, it's, it could be something that just completely destroys your tank, um, and it's just can kill everybody in your tank in a very short amount of time. One of the biggest signs for parasites is the clear poop. Now, I've had clear poop in my tanks probably since I've started this tank. And one main thing that I've really chalked that up to is their diets. Now these fish, when they started out very small, ate tons and tons of flake food. Especially my Oscar. My, you know, as everyone can know from Oscars, they always have, they're, they're just garbage shoots for food and uh, this guy especially he can he will eat non-stop so he would always eat flakes and he scared me because his behavior was always great but his poop was always clear and very stringy and very scary to me because I thought he was sick for a long amount of time and I spoke to many people about it and everyone told me the same thing wait don't start treating have some clear-cut signs before you know it you know wait until he's laying on the gravel but fortunately it never happened and as he grew he's now eating more pellets and less flakes and his poop is now brown this guy for another is now pooping out clear poop and he's actually eats no pellets. This went pretty fast. He eats no pellets. His mouth isn't big enough. He attempts to buy, uh, eat pellets, but doesn't. So, I don't think he has parasites. He shows no signs of bloat. His be as you can see, he's never he never lays on the gravel. If anything, his behavior in this tank has improved tenfold. As you can remember, when I first got him, for the first, I would say, month now, I've had him for about a month, he would always be in that top left corner where that filter is. He never ever goes there anymore. He's now become one with the tank and is is just like one of the other cichlids. You know, everybody in the tank now, and even, I know from the last video that I shot, the Jaguar and Royal Pleco, of all fish in this tank, were fighting for territory in that top right. And both of them have now come out of there. It's a very rare time. And, you know, it would, be, it would have been rare a month ago, or a few weeks ago, or even a week ago, to see this Royal Pleco the way he is now. He He's a nocturnal fish, and is never nocturnal anymore. He's always out during the day. And I, I prefer that. I mean, I, I love seeing him. His colors are incredible. Um... But that's just, uh, I mean, the parasites, it's terrible to get them. And I feel like a mistake that most Aquarius do are they overtreat. And, uh, but they're, man, they're just rough. They are very rough. They can wipe out a whole tank. That's why you gotta be very careful and quarantine your tank. But luckily, like I said, knock on wood, no parasites here. And I'm done getting fish now. This, this tank is gonna be staying like this for a long time. So, fingers crossed that there's no parasites. But, 
stay tuned because I will be doing a live feeding video sooner than later. I'm not getting any of my uh, feeders from Petco or PetSmart or any of that. I'm going to go to my nice local fish store that ha keep their feeders in there for a long time. Those guys got to be healthy. There's no parasites from over there. I'm going to only live feed very rarely and only with the best fish. I'll pay a little bit more money from my local fish store that I know that won't give my fish parasites. Petco sells them for dirt cheap, but they also have tons of gold goldfish in there and tons of gold minnows. And those are not good. Those will get your fish sick, kill them, and, in, and bring parasites into your tank, which is something you do not want. Now, enough for talking about little bugs that eat your fish from the inside out and poop. On to the, 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 the best part of this video. Look at my quarry swimming upside down right now. Wow. Let's go a little bit closer because for this update, oh, we got to get real close. As you can probably tell, it looks like the normal old fish tank, right? Wrong. There's another fish in here that he likes to hide. Not many, not many uh, aquariums have them in their home. But let's see who he is. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. You can't even see him. He's in the dark. That is a pike. Let's see if we can get him. He is also known as a belly crawler. So, as a pike cichlid, and crawl, literally crawls swimming on the rocks. I hope, I just got him two days ago. And he loves to hide. Loves to hide. Hopefully I can get a better video of him. But, for today, that's it for the Long Island Fish Show.